uh, I remember um, the first uh, house I built mm -hmm. is from Ashgood. I see. From Ashgood. Hello friends, welcome to Dora Soccer. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily. In today's edition, we're going to talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. The date for the Ghana two African Cup of Nations qualifiers has been officially confirmed by the Ghana Football Association. We're going to talk about the dates and the venue. And then we'll talk about Fatal Dada, who has come out to say that he bought his first house or he built his first house whilst playing in Ghana. We'll go into details of it and exactly what he said also in this interview so that's what we're going to discuss today and other conversations around Ghanaian players as usual if today's your first time hit on the subscription button and let's build this community together but that was much time let's get straight into today's news right so let's go into the news and start with the one around Fatal Dauda. So Fatah Dada, who is the current uh, head coach of the that's just the current goalkeeper trainer for the Black Stars, has come out to in an interview with uh, Joy Sports, indicated that whilst playing in the Ghana Premier League, he managed to build his first house. Uh, I remember um, the first uh, house I built mm -hmm. is from Ashgood. I see. From Ashgood. My mom was having a land, and then when I received my signing of you from Okoye United to Ashgood, mm. that's the money I used to build uh, some four bedrooms on my mother's land. I see. And myself and my little brothers we were benefiting on the on the on on the so where I am now. So uh, um, by then, if you are disciplined, the money that you have from the Premier League, trust me, you can do something with it. So I think what he said completely right because looking at where you are coming from and what you are playing and i've said this on countless times people you know when you compare the salary of a, a Ghanaian player to that of somebody who who plays in europe outside ghana or in some of the african countries it is woefully inadequate but if you compare it to someone working in ghana the salary of the Ghanaian Premier League players, especially those that play at the highest level, is very good. Some players in Ghana earn as much as 10,000, 7,000, and 12,000. Like players in Ghana, that's the truth. Some of the, even some of the foreign players that come and play in Ghana earn, earns in dollars. Depending on one, your experience, how good you are, the team you are playing for, and also your negotiation skills, you can earn as much as like 5K, 4K, 6K, as a Ghana Premier League worker. And let me tell you something about it. Those players, they don't spend. When the season starts, they are in camp. They eat three times a day in camp. They, they don't pay transport. So they, their job is in a way that when they earn that salary, they, are not, they don't spend it on any other expenses again as compared to any other random worker like me. I'm here. If I have to go to work, I have to pay transport. I have to rent. I have to pay for like that kind of things. But if you're a player in Ghana, you don't pay for those kind of things when you are working so if you are fortunate and you are working with a club that pays well which Fatal Dada in this case he was you can have the chance to save a lot of money and he said he said some of these players they feel like oh metro I'm a quabuchi sometimes the society will put you somewhere for you to do something that you regret okay because when we were playing you feel like oh maybe you are earning some money. If you look at your age, I have more years to play. So, okay, this money, let me just misuse it. I have more years. I can make another money. Football is not right. There's injury. Anything can happen at any time. So, I made use of the first money. To, because it, it wasn't any big money that, but I feel like, no, I can do something with it. But some people feel like, no, this money is not. So, let me use it to buy maybe a car or let me use it to do something different. And then, if the money is not coming again, that's where the frustration starts coming. So it's about decision making. It's about how you see the money. You see, like the money is small or the money is big. You need to do something, the writing first. So when you do it and then you have something different comes and that one will be like a bonus. Mm. So I didn't wait to make big money before thinking of where I will lay my head. Mm. By then, my, 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 we, we are living in our father's house. I should be some as well. Okay, this money that I have from Ashgood, I can use it to buy some cars. No, I didn't do that. I feel like no, my father's house is no, I'm not alone. Yeah. I'm not the only child. So I need to 
start doing something on my own. So it's about decision the players sometimes they, 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 they take. Some of them players, like that's why Ghanaian players don't really make some few things for themselves, especially when they are unable to travel because they believe that, oh, he doesn't tend to save it and that's why but players in ghana it's not like they don't they, their salary is not good cry yes yeah, some and as low as you can think of but those that play at the highest level the money that they earn when compared to some of the salary people take in this country footballers uh ends well in, in ghana so don't compare their salary to that of the Europeans. But I believe at all that that is true. Like you can play in Ghana and build a house. And where he said his father or his mother, he said his parents had like a land. So it was easy for him to build on it. You get it. The land is already there. He can build on it. That's super. If you're a Premier League player, based on the salary and amount of money you, you earn and the commitment, if you sign a three-year contract with a team, Charlie, you can go and take mortgage even with it and start paying small, small, like the way the players that play in Europe does. So, I think what Fatah Dada said is true. Now, let's go and talk about uh, the Black Stars of Ghana. So, Ghana has two uh, Afghan qualifiers to play. Obviously, it's going to be played in September. I brought you an update on the dates and the venue the other time. But the FA has come out to come and officially confirm it. And uh, according to them, Ghana will be playing on Thursday. You remember I brought you the updates. Ghana will be playing on Thursday. And then on Thursday at exactly 4 p.m. at the Barbara Sports Stadium. So, I, but this Barbara that the park is there like that. Can we play there? So, the FA has come out to obviously confirm it as I gave you the updates. So, Ghana will be playing at the Barbara Sports Stadium, which, as now that I'm talking to you, it's not really in, in a good state. Ghana will be playing against Angola, as I said. I don't know if you know that. But Ghana will be playing first against Angola at the Barbara Sports Stadium. And then we would we would also move on and play the next game. So Ghana will be playing first against Angola at the Barbara Sports Stadium on 5th September. I brought you the update that it's going to be played on 5th September, which is Thursday at exactly 4 p.m. So that's when Ghana will be playing at the Barra Sports Stadium at exactly 4 p.m. And then the next game, the next uh, game will be on Monday against Niger. So Ghana will be going to Niger to go to play against, against Niger on uh, Monday 9th September. So take note of that. Ghana playing the Barra Sports Stadium on Thursday, September at 4 p.m. So we are going to be there in Kumasi. That means we are coming to Kumasi, giddy, giddy, giddy. And then the next game will be played at uh, exactly 4 p.m. in Niger. This is the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Fingers crossed. Let's see if Ghana can qualify. In that same period, there's also going to be the African Cup of Nations, uh, the World Cup qualifiers too as well. So take note of that. Let's wrap up with one last one, which is uh, the Minister for Youth and Sports has spoken about the Ghana uh, relating that's a four by hundred relating and he said he's confident that ghana can get a medal from this really this olympic game that we are watching yeah he said he's confident that ghana can get a medal yeah olympic team no? yakasa and you say oh, they are in a high spirit so ombe uh, represented our country ghana very very high uh me encourage you more catch on say upon his excellency the president of the republic and a ghana phone in our and uh, uh, you hope when you say 4x100, no? you know, say you call your wound, you know, you number one. Uh, Bahamas, so, you know, 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 you But we have so much confidence in the, in the, uh, the Olympic team. Even though our numbers are not uh, 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 huge numbers, but I believe in quality. So the number that is there, I believe that they will, they will, they will represent us very well. Yeah, so Minister granted an interview with uh, the Peace FM and he said, yeah, they've been speaking with the guys and he's confident that Ghana can go and make Ghana proud. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Yeah. Yeah. 
So let me know what you think about today. We talked about Fatal Dada. We talked about the Black Stars details confirmed. And then we talked about the Ghana Relay team as well. So Ghana's Relay team will be competing on uh, 8th to notes 8th. That's the last time. That's the only time Ghana will come and compete in the 4 by 100 really. We'll give you the update as I've been doing it on my social media handles. For, uh, follow me. You can see that I've been doing exclusive updates of the Olympics on my social media handles. So go and let me know what you think about these topics in the comment section. Until we meet again, my name is Lali Frank. Bye-bye for now.